And uh, well, he he is a super grandmaster for a reason. And there he just calmly walks his queen one square forward. Would not have dreamt of that move at yeah. all. I mean, to me, it's just like it removes the connection from the queen getting to the right. It's highly surprising, right, that Wesley has pushed his queen up there. He's going after Black's pawns on that left side, but Magnus, he's giving up his pawns. Look at the Black Rooks now and the Black Queen. They're all lined up together. It's looking like there's going to be some threats. You mentioned uh, earlier, Ivanka, that Black's threats might take through. Whoa, four minutes, now but... there's a big threat. Whoa, like what's happening with the bar? Knight coming in. I mean, is yeah. there a threat to, um, sorry, Knight... Which square? To... Um, to the center, okay, let's, just to sacrifice itself. Yeah, let's actually, let's bring up the analysis board because suddenly it does look like Wesley So's underestimated Black's attack. Uh, if, yeah, let's keep an eye on the players. They, he might react soon, Wesley So If he gets greedy and takes this pawn, which must have been his intention, then Black's knight would jump in to this square, threatening checkmate. And after pawn takes knight, suddenly the queen takes. White's king is just under heavy fire. When the king moves, Black's rooks are gonna enter the position next turn. So Wesley tried to stop that. He tried to defend that square, and now the pawn is coming. Uh, whoops. Instead of queen takes pawn, sorry, Wesley did bring his rook across, and now look at this. Magnus just so calm, bringing Harry the H-pawn. If this pawn gets two squares further forward, then suddenly it's going to support the queen jumping in, and suddenly the white king is about to get checkmated. It might just be about to get checkmated anyway. Just judging by the evaluation bar, it does look like there's no defense against this plan. Black simply just walking this pawn down the board. Yeah. And using it as a new attacker. Why can't trade queens? That was your idea, Ivanka. It's going to take too long now to, act, to get that into, into play. Yeah. Wesley just underestimating the danger. Um, unbelievable scenes here because uh, this was my nightmare when I looked at the position a few moves ago. And I, and I, OK, so we do have a move. He's advanced his pawn, so the, I mean, what's his response if uh, Black were to just to push one square further? Yeah, we will see Magnus push his pawn one square further just to loosen up White's king uh, shelter even more. There we go. Yeah, I mean, this is, we've said in the past, it is kind of alpha zero influenced by AI, uh, this type of idea with Black, but it's just good chess. It's just pushing a pawn, weakening your opponent's king, using the pawn as a battering ram. Now Wesley so takes a pawn, but that pawn looks irrelevant. White's queen is just not... Joining the action. Oh, we got an explosive move, David. We have wow. a tactic on the board. Magnus is willing to sacrifice a knight just to open up the white king position. It's not just and, a it's, knight. and it's going to be checkmate. Oh, we, oh, we, we have to <gasps> show this, mate. Yeah, we will go back and yeah. show this. Actually, Magnus was ready to sacrifice his queen um, if something different had happened there. But okay, Wesley trying to trade off a set of rooks, but that's not going to help him. Magnus pushing a pawn, White's rook has to move, and then it's just going to be checkmate. Wesley, so he's either losing a rook or he's getting checkmated. <gasps> he just resigns. Wow, what a dramatic start to the final. Magnus Carlsen almost getting a checkmate here and winning the first game with the black pieces. And look at this. He's definitely looking over this, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, it was a crazy game. So many fireworks from an early stage.